This question says the area of each circle is pi centimeters squared. What is the shaded area? There's a little bit more detail that needs to be explained. Each circle meets at the center or is touching at the center and that is the center of this circle in the middle. So that's all the information you need. If you want to give this a go, pause the video now. If you have seen my video on Rulo triangles, you know that this uh, area in here is what we call a Rulo triangle. So this one. And within that is an equilateral triangle, starting from the center and going to the other intersection points. Uh, if you didn't know this, you could figure it out because you could split this middle circle into six parts, six equal sections, and a circle split into six equal sections means that that angle in there must be 60 degrees, and that would mean this is an equilateral triangle. To find the shaded area, all we really need to do is to find one of these segments because all of these shapes are the same. So if we can find that segment, we can multiply it by however many we have and we'll have our answer. So the goal here is to find this segment and then multiply it and we'll get our answer. So how can we find the area of that segment? Well, as we've said, this is an equilateral triangle. So we are going to find the area of the sector, subtract the area of that equilateral triangle, that will give us the area of the segment. Firstly, we need to figure out the radius of this circle. Um, so we need to remember what the area of a circle formula says. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And if this area is equal to pi, what is the radius? Well, the radius must equal one, right? R squared is one, so the radius is one. Then we want to figure out the area of that equilateral triangle in blue. The area of an equilateral triangle is given by this formula, root three on four a squared, where a is the side of the triangle. In this case, the side of the equilateral triangle is the radius, which is one. So a is one, therefore the area of this triangle is just root three on four. Then we want the area of that sector it has an angle of 60 degrees, so I'm just looking at this one. There's nothing special about this arrangement. You could do it in any other part of this circle. I've just picked this one at random. So we want the area of that sector, and you need to remember the area of a sector formula in degrees. That is theta on 360 times the area of a circle, pi r squared. The angle in this case is 60, so it's 60 on 360 multiplied by pi times r squared. r is 1, so it's just pi and 60 on 360 is 1 sixth, so I could write this as pi on 6. Okay, I have the area of the sector. Um, I'll just uh, highlight that so it's clear what I'm talking about. So the area of the sector is that part. I want to subtract the equilateral triangle in blue. That will give me the shaded blue area, which we call a segment. So the area of the segment is equal to the sector take the equilateral triangle root three on four. Okay, so I have that blue shaded area. How many of those segments do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of those segments, so I need to multiply this by twelve to get the shaded area. So the shaded area will equal twelve times pi on six, take root three on four. If I expand out these brackets, it would be 12 pi on six, take 12 root three on four, and then we can divide 12 by six, that would be two pi. 12 divided by four is three, root three centimeters squared. And you could leave your final answer as that, or you could find a decimal approximation as well. So there you go, a nice geometric puzzle there involving uh, the area of an equilateral triangle, finding the area of a segment, and a bit of problem solving as well. Thanks for watching.